Walnut Creek. It's time for basketball right here on Walnut Creek TV. Hello, everybody. I'm Anthony Schultz, and tonight we have the Berean Christian Eagles taking on the Northgate Broncos. For Berean Christian, they come in with a record of 12 and 5. They've won five straight, looking to make it six in a row here tonight. They are led by their senior, Tyler Charette, a guy who can play all five positions on the floor, and he can score, averaging better than 20 points a game. For Northgate, they come in struggling a little bit after starting out the season really hot. They've had a problem with scoring, scoring points per game down about 10 points from last year when they're averaging better than 60. Right now, they're averaging better than just 51 points a game. They'll look to turn that around here tonight. Northern California's largest community arts program is here in Walnut Creek. We have over 180 professionals teaching music, dance, drama, and visual arts. With over 680 classes, workshops, and events. There are classes for youth, teens, and adults. With opportunities for beginners through professionals. Find your spark. Learn, inspire, grow. All right, we are underway and a turnover here. Ball going back to Brand Christian and to the hole and a foul is called against Northgate. And that'll put number 24, A.J. Newell, the junior, 5'11", 177 pounds, on the line here to try to get the Eagles on the board first here. No score here from Walnut Creek and Moran Christian High School. The Eagles in their home white, trimmed with gold. And the Broncos in the travel black, trimmed with red and gold. And the first shot is good from Newell, and it's 1-0 in favor of the Eagles. Oh, yeah, this place is packed. A large contingent of fans here from the Northgate side, and an even bigger contingent on the Eagles side. One to nothing, and Newell trying to make it two, and he does. So a pair of free throws for Newell, and the Eagles lead two nothing here, 6.46 to go. Here come the Broncos down the other way, a little body bump, shot won't go. Offensive rebound for the Broncos. Shot put up, and another rebound. Johnny Crossway from outside, off the rim, no good. And another offensive rebound for Northgate. Another chance from the corner off the rim, no good. Another offensive rebound, four chances, ball is lost. And now Northgate gets it again. Can they turn this one into a basket at long last? Well, a lot of chances here for the Broncos trying to tie the game or take the lead. See that 2-3 zone by Northgate, by uh, Berean Christian rather, having won five straight coming in. Here's a little bump on the baseline, ball kicked out. Top of the arc, shot off the rim and backboard, no good, but another offensive rebound, knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Beret and Christian, and it belongs to Northgate, and right now, Beret and Christian cannot get a defensive rebound. So a new shot clock here for Northgate. As they have it, they'll inbound on the baseline. The starters for BC, Tyler Charette, Jason Braden, Logan Lyle, A.J. Newell, and Daniel Keefe will give you the quintet for Northgate here in just a bit. Broncos down here in the early going by two. Northgate started out really hot this year. They won five of their first six games, but things have cooled off since then. There's a shot missed, and finally a rebound taken by Baran Christian in Keenan Meyer to finally clear it, and there a steal. Ball knocked out of bounds by Northgate. Connor Jean, he is one of their captains. And a guy they rely on so much for the scoring. Connor, about 32 minutes uh, ball game so far, averaging better than 15 points a game. 
And then they'll need him to score. Oh, a nice fancy around the back dribble. Free throw line jumper is no good, but another Northgate foul. And again, that'll send the Eagles back to the free throw line. And again, it's A.J. Newell going to the line for B.C. So the DVAL, B.C. coming in at 3-0 in league, 12-5 overall. Northgate at 1-1 and and 9-7 and overall, and that one is good. And that makes it 3-0. All the points provided from the, by Newell from the three, free throw line, he's 3-for-3. Three three. One more shot for Newell, and he knocks it down, making it 4-for-4. Four four. And Newell has made big improvements this year, really worked hard over the summer. And he can score in a lot of different ways, but so far it's just one way, and that's from the foul line. There's a shot, and by Connor Jean, that's no good. Ball tipped around and wrestled away that time by Berean Christian's Evan Farrell. So Farrell able to clear that board. Here's a pass stolen. They were looking to go cross court for Newell, and is taken away by Northgate. Good anticipation that time by Ethan Waltrip. And this ball is out of bounds. Last touch by the Broncos. And the Eagles will get it back, leading it four to nothing. So Newell with four free throws, and that's so far the only scoring here with 4.56 to go in this opening quarter. A very loud and boisterous gym here at Moran Christian. Very excited about the Eagles season. They were just 13 and 13 last year, but a lot better so far this year. Cross court, shot taken, and that is gonna be an air ball and knocked out of bounds. Who does it belong to? and it goes over to Northgate. So that one launched by Logan Lyle, one of the captains, the senior guard, and that one came up empty for Logan. All right, Northgate trying to cut into a four nothing lead here. Bringing it around, and that's starters, Johnny Crosswaite, Matt DeGarmo, Connor Jean, Justin Troutner, and Joe Pelletier, the starting five on the floor right now for Northgate. There's one launch for three off the rim, no good. Chased down into the corner by Walchuk and another offensive rebound for the Broncos. That gives them about a half dozen so far, but to this point it hasn't produced a basket. Back to the top, Gene looks inside, ball knocked away and taken. Nice defense on the inside by number 50, Keenan Meyer. Here's one put down, Myers got the basketball too high and hard off the glass, and that's no good. Here come the Broncos the other way, still looking for their first points as we're down to 3.45 to go here in the first. Long drought here for Northgate, but uh, nothing new for this Bronco offense. As uh, I told you at the open, they've had uh, trouble scoring so far this year. Certainly working on that 2-3 zone, the Broncos having a hard time penetrating and getting inside. And they're gonna have to look for that quick shot. Here's Connor Jean, he wants a three off the rim and backboard, no good. The ball comes out here to Beret and Christian as they change ends. Ball handled by Brayton. Brayton puts it up off the rim, no good. Brayton gets his own and knocks it down. Jason Brayton doing what you're told to do, follow your own shot, and it's six nothing in favor of BC. Northgate coached by Steve Mitchell in his fifth year. Last year they went to the NCS semifinals. They were actually 12 and league, 12 and 0, and won the league a year ago. And now we're going to have a foul here against Beret and Christian. And I believe that'll be a non-shooting foul. So it'll be a pushing foul against. Moran and Christian, and now a couple of substitutions coming in for the Eagles. Newell's back in. And along with number 22, Josh Lopez, he's uh, listed as a wing and a forward, and the 5'10 senior. Timeout on the floor. A 6 nothing lead here for BC, a 2.44 to go following a Moran and Christian foul. So after a very nice year, a uh, season ago, and that season ended in the semifinals, for Northgate. They lost to uh, Montgomery in the NCS semifinal. Last year they won the Windsor Tournament and they had one of their star players, Mike Peterson, who's such a good shooter, 
broke his hand earlier in the year. That led to a three-game losing streak, but following that losing streak, they won 17 games in a row before that loss to Montgomery. But uh, things a little bit slower for them this year as they come in at just 9-7 overall with a 1-1 one one DVAL record. And for Berain Christian, they are coached by Carl Jacobs. Carl in his second year, just 13 and 13 a year ago. They lost to St. Mary's in the NCS quarterfinals. And Carl Jacobs, well, he's been around the block a couple of times, coached for a long time at Lincoln High School in San Francisco, and then was at International High School for a while. It had been called French American, with 25 years of coaching experience for Mr. Jacobs. All right, following that uh, foul of the timeout, Northgate has it trailing 6 nothing. Looking to get it inside, Gene turns, puts up the shot, off the backboard too strong, and a beautiful leaping rebound taken there by Josh Lopez. Make that A.J. Newell, excuse me. Beautiful rebound by Newell, and then here is a shot missed, and boy, Baran nearly had the rebound, but had it taken away by Northgate's Johnny Crossway. So, so far, BC pitching a shutout here in the opening frame. But fortunately for Northgate, it's only six to nothing. There's a shot put up and that misses badly by Crossway. And that is gonna be out of bounds to BC. And boy, listen to the Eagles fans all over the Bronco captain. Now checking into the game, uh, re-entering the game is Logan Lyle, the senior guard. He'll come back in. And Tyler Charette, who is yet to score, will take a seat. Tyler, the leading scorer on this BC Eagles squad at 20.2, a contest ball nearly thrown away. Here's Braden over to Newell. He looks for space, a step behind the three-point line, no good. Cross weight with the baseline rebound. Ahead comes Northgate. Dump it inside, a trio of players around number 32, Joe Pelletier, and Pelletier misses off the back iron. Ball taken away by Braden, nearly lost that time. Braden able to collect. Here's Braden with some good quickness there. Changes hands, Meyer inside, kicks it out for three, and knocked down! From downtown, Logan Lyle, and he makes it nine to nothing. Here's one right back at you, but no good. There by Northgate, and a defensive rebound here by Logan. Here comes Braden, quickly back to the offensive end. Crossover dribble, kicks it back. Lopez wants the three off the rim, no good. Meyer, the offensive rebound, can't stick it back. And finally wrestled away by the Bronco. 40 seconds to go, off the glass, no good, but a blocking foul, and this will get Northgate to the free throw line. It'll be number 11, Connor Jean, the other leader on this team. 74% from the free throw line for Connor. He and Johnny, the only returning starters on this squad, and the only guys who got a lot of playing time a year ago. So the other guys, kind of newbies here to the, the varsity squad. And Gene's first shot, no good. And he's hearing it from the crowd. Here comes Kyle Schoen. The center slash forwards senior comes into the ball game. Or the junior, excuse me. So Schoen gets his first action of the night. And one more shot due for Connor Jean, and no good. Tipped around, but another offensive rebound. This one by Crossweight. Jean over to Crossweight, penetrates inside, takes the hack, and he'll go to the free throw line. So on the one hand, if he's looking for some good news in this very sluggish first quarter here for Northgate, is they've been able to collect offensive rebounds. I have them unofficially now with eight. But the, uh, the problem is they've missed a lot of shots and they've given themselves a lot of chances to get those offensive rebounds and it's not resulted in any points. Maybe it will here. Crossway, first shot, 
and no good. And right now, there is just a cap on that cylinder for the Broncos. Johnny Crossway, a 61% free throw shooter, better than 14 points a contest, and averaging almost 10 rebounds a game. Next shot. Yes. And finally, the Bronco fans with something to cheer about as Northgate is on the board here with like 28 seconds to go, and they trail at 9-1. to one. Newell penetrates, and he is fouled going to the hole. A.J. Newell making that nice move on the outside, able to get to the hole, and he draws the foul. So for the third time tonight here in this first quarter, make that the fourth time, Newell will shoot foul shots again. He was four for four on foul shots so far. So this is his third time to the line, and that one is no good. Coming into the ball game now for Berean Christian, number 33, Tanner Rose. The junior forward will come into the ball game, and he'll replace Tyler Shiretto who will get another breather here at the end of this first quarter. 16-6 to go. Next shot, and that is good. And it's 10-1 to one now in favor of Berean Christian. So Berean, they've hit a three. They've gotten some from the line. And so far, just one free throw for Northgate. Three seconds to go, two seconds. Got to put up a shot in desperation, and that one will not count on the follow. No good. And that's the way the first quarter ends, with Berea and Christian all over the Northgate Broncos at 10-1. to 1. Second quarter coming up here in just a bit. So an ugly first quarter for Northgate, but all going well here for Berea and Christian here in that first quarter. And A.J. Newell, a big part of it. And you saw his dribble penetration, really a big key to him getting to that free throw line, able to break down the defense and penetrate and draw fouls. And he did end up with uh, five of six from the free throw line in that first quarter. So a fresh eight minutes on the board, a 10 to one lead here for B.C. Let's take a look. There are the standings in the Diablo Valley Conference. And there you see Baran at 3-0, College Park at 3-0, Northgate down there at 1-1. Clayton Valley, you see Mount Diablo and Ignacio Valley. But things going very well for Baran. A nice season so far for College Park and Concord, both with 11 wins. And College Park doing well in the conference at 2-1. All right, start of the second quarter. Brayton's got the basketball, and here's Newell. Crossweight comes out to guard him. Newell penetrates, fly, hangs up there, has it blocked by Crossweight, and taken by the Broncos. Kyle Schoen came up with the basketball. Nice job by Crossweight. Baseline move, off the glass and score. That is the way to start off the quarter. Arash Aliar making the basket after the pretty move on the baseline. into the corner, now trying to get it inside, ball knocked away and out of bounds. BC trying to get the ball inside to Daniel Keith. And that ball was knocked away at the last moment, ended up out of bounds. Still plenty of time with the shot clock for Baran. Yeah, 25 seconds. And this ball is gonna be kicked and that will give a fresh shot clock to Berean Christian, I believe, and they will recycle it to 35. So just reaching out with his foot was Connor Jean to kick that ball away. Here's Braden. He shoes the high screen. And here's a shot from way downtown and knocked down. Logan Lyle from downtown, his second three of the ball game. He's got six. 13 to three is the lead. Here for Berean Christian. Connor Jean on the outside, watched by Braden. Skip pass almost to nobody, and then finally rescued. And then the shot put up, that won't go. Tipped around, who's it gonna be out on? And it's gonna be last touch by Northgate, and the rock belongs to Berean Christian. 
So Meyer will come back in for the Eagles along with Tyler Charette. Charette, the leading scorer on this team, hasn't had to score at all so far. And his team is up by 10 at 13 to three. Here's Lyle, beyond the arc, they gotta watch him out there, he's two for two. Down in the corner, ball disappearing for me here momentarily. Here's Charette, has it knocked away by Connor Jean. Outlet pass to Connor running the floor, but nice transition defense that time by Beret and Christian as they get set up. And they force the uh, Northgate Broncos into that half court set. They have not been comfortable here so far tonight. Here's the ball nearly stolen. Jean's got it, goes up against the double team, shot won't go. Another air ball for the Broncos, and their shooting woes continue. Correct going all the way. He is foul going the hole, and I think he's going to be shooting too. Let's see. He will. And Charette now to the free throw line. I believe no, they're going to say out of bounds, and it'll be an inbound situation here for Moray and Christian. on the baseline and we're gonna have a blocking foul. They're trying to shut off the baseline and try to keep uh, Charette from taking that baseline move. But we're gonna have a Northgate foul and a fresh shot clock here for BC. So just one point in that first quarter for Northgate. They've got just three so far, and it's going to be another blocking call. And Tyler Charette pulling up a bit lame here, and now favoring his uh, his right leg. So Charette looks like he's going to try to walk it off. He doesn't. He hasn't called to the bench. Looking for a substitution. I think he's going to stay in there, but notice will be hobbling right now. All right, inbounded Charette from way downtown. Let's fly off the back of the iron. No good. Ball tipped around, and it comes to Logan Lyle. He wants another three off the iron, not this time for Logan. Out of bounds. And now let's see if the call is. The whistle blew, and I think we have a foul. And we're going to have a Bray and Christian foul against number 12, Evan Farrell. So Northgate gets it back, trailing by 10. So. Nothing going right here for Northgate from the offensive end, but they find themselves trailing only by 10 points, which has got to feel pretty good about that. Here's Connor Jean. The outside crossed the way near the free throw line, swinging around, looking for some room. Finally penetrating shot put up and getting it to fall is number two, Kyle Schoen, and it's 13 to five. Here's Braden back the other way. Outside for Logan Lyle. They watch him a lot closer out there now with Arash Aliar. Shot put up and score! So right back come the Eagles now and they again lead it by 10, their biggest lead of the game. Kick to the outside, nearly lost, but collected by Aliar. Gene with a fake. Good closeout defense by the Eagles on that three-point line as they got to Gene very quickly that time. And this zone defense looks very effective right now for BC. And a lot of times the zone will make a defense passive. Here's a shot from the outside. Off the rim and no good. Rebound to Crossway to puts it up and scores. Johnny Crossway with another Northgate offensive rebound. And this one does result in a basket. 15 to seven now. In favor of BC, they led the whole way. Kick to the corner. And they come back out. There's Newell, he wants the three off the rim, no good. Newell does not get the friendly roll. Connor Jean to the outside, shot fired, air ball again. That has gotta be at least the fourth air ball. Here's the ball ahead to Newell, he collects and scores. A.J. Newell, that pass was behind him but he was able to collect and score anyway. Nice hands by Newell. Shot knocked down. That is a three ball from Connor Jean, and that makes it 17 to 10. So here comes the Northgate offense starting to pick it up a little bit. 
Ball taken away here by Northgate. Running to the offensive end, Connor Jean has it blocked, but he draws the foul. The ball was blocked by Tyler Charette, but Connor Jean had drew the foul before that. And they're gonna get the foul on number 12, Evan Farrell. That is the fifth team foul for Baran Christian. Now the good news for Northgate, they go back to the free throw line. And Connor Jean's first one is good. He missed his first two earlier in the ball game. He's got this one, so he's one of three from the line. Wholesale changes coming in here for Baran Christian. Among them, Daniel Keith is back into the ball game for BC. Next shot, and just does rim out. So 17 to 11 here, 317 to go, but the lead is now cut to six. Kick out. Here's Braden looking for some room. Down into the corner. Got to check my monitor when it goes down in the corner. The fans are all standing up, and I kind of lose the ball there momentarily as these fans have really packed the place here tonight. There's a shot from way downtown. Tyler from way downtown knocking down the three. And Tyler Charette was a good three steps beyond the arc that time. That was near NBA range for the brand Christian star. Here's one taken and then way off the mark that time. And that missed by OB Richard from way downtown. Here's Brayton off the screen and he is gonna be knocked to the floor and called for traveling. Well, I thought that was going to be a defensive foul for sure. It looked like Aliar made contact with Brayton as he fell to the floor, but it's a traveling call against BC. And the ball goes back over to Northgate. So the offense a whole lot better here for Northgate in the second quarter. They put up 10 points as opposed to just a single digit. And I should say a single point there in that first quarter. Aliar to the inside, kicked it out to the baseline, ball nearly lost, shot put up and fouled. And that is going to be a foul call against Daniel Keith. Not happy with the call there is Keith, but that will send Johnny Crossweight to the free throw line. Johnny got one of two there the last time he was at the stripe. And now trying to further cut into this lead here. First shot put up and it is good. 20 to 12 now. One more for Crossway, and he knocks it down. So Crossway gets them both, and it's again a seven-point advantage for Moran Christian. In the corner for Logan Lyle. He's two or three from beyond the arc tonight. Here's the ball knocked away, and it's going to be stolen. They're fighting for it in midcourt. Finally picked up by Keith, who kicks it out to Lyle, who fakes the three, penetrates, puts it up, can't get it to go. And Keith is stripped from behind by Crossway. What a play by Johnny. The other end, off the glass and home. And it's a five-point game. Here come the Broncos, and listen to the Bronco fans. Newell penetrates off the glass and scores. A.J. Newell. He has shown the ability to penetrate, and right now the Broncos cannot handle him out on the perimeter. They're going man-to-man, -man are the Broncos, and when Newell's out there, he can penetrate seemingly at will. Cross weight, and that won't go. And there's going to be a foul outside. There's going to be a pushing foul. Let's see who they're going to get here. It's going to be a one-and-one -one situation here, or is it? They're going to get number 44, Daniel Keith, with the foul. Braden coming back into the ball game. And I believe it's going to be a one and one situation. And to the line for Northgate is number 32, Joe Pelletier. On the line, shot and no good. And nearly taken away there by Connor Jean, but Keith able to come up with it. Here's Newell on the outside. Braden is wide open from the apex. Shot won't go. 
Lucky break that time for Northgate. They left Braden wide open beyond the arc, but he missed. Here's another shot from the corner. That won't go. And a rebound here to Newell. Newell, a very good rebounder for a guard. There's no problem getting inside to get those rebounds. Here's Keith. Kick it back out. Last 37 seconds. And about a 15 second differential from shot clock to game clock. There's Logan Lyle now. Watch. There's a steal on the pass. Connor Jean going all the way and scores. Connor Jean, what a play. With the steal and the finish, with Braden coming right over there, or pardon me, A.J. Newell was there, but he couldn't stop it. And now Beret and Christian will play for the last shot here of this first half. Seven seconds, six seconds. Here's Braden with the screen by Keith. Kicks it outside, knocked away. They fight for it. Shot put up, will it count? No, off the glass. And that's the way the first half ends. But Northgate getting a big applause from their contingent of fans as they've cut into this lead. And at the end of one half of play here from Berean Christian High School, it's the Eagles 22 and the Broncos 17. Something new is coming to the beautiful city of Walnut Creek. Oh, what is this? What is this, you say? It's the new food scrap pail arriving to your home in October. Walnut Creek residents will now be able to compost thanks to the Central Contra Costa Solid Waste Authority. Your pail will come with instructions telling you what items can be composted, such as food scraps, soil paper, and coffee grounds. Simply put items in your pail, or if you prefer, line your pail with a paper bag first. Is this pail going to make my kitchen smell? Would I want your kitchen to smell? Pails are designed to be emptied often. They fit under most sinks and can be washed in your dishwasher. What happens when my pail is full? When your pail is full, simply empty scraps in your green waste cup. Food scraps will be composted into a high quality soil amendment. Now that was easy. For more information, visit www.wastediversion.org. All right, at halftime, a 22-17 lead for Beret and Christian. And for Northgate, they really struggled at the end of one quarter. They had just the one point, trailed at 10 to 1, but they battled back. And they scored 16 in that last quarter. They cut that lead down to five. They trailed at 22 to 17. And we just did see, while we were away, the Northgate Bronco cheerleaders entertaining their fans. And now here are the BC cheerleaders to do likewise for their fans. I'm just going to go ahead and let them do their thing, Matt. They've led the entire way. But a nice comeback, certainly, there by Northgate. We'll toss it to break and come back with the second half tip off right after this. You're good to go. Now that was easy.
Hi, welcome to Inside Center Rep. My name is Carrie Lederer, and I'm the curator of exhibitions here at the Bedford Gallery. Hi there, welcome to Get Lit. And that's when I decided to run for the city council. All right, we are back at uh, Berean Christian High School in Walnut Creek. Got a good ball game for you here tonight. That first quarter started out a little bit rough as BC was all over Northgate, but the Rock Broncos battled back. They had led by, uh, trailed I should say, by as many as 10 points a couple of different times, but battled back nicely in that second quarter and they trail now just by five, 22 to 17 with a fresh eight minutes to go here in quarter number three from Walnut Creek, right here on Walnut Creek TV. Presented to you by Rocco's Restaurante and Pizzeria, the best pizza in the East Bay. Delicious combo tonight, guys. Thank you very much. That's Rocco's Restaurante and Pizzeria. All right, getting set to start the second half. And check out the, the quintet for Berean Christian. There's Braden, A.J. Newell, Logan Lyle, Keith, and of course their star, Tyler Charette, who had a slow half in terms of scoring, did hit that one three-pointer from way downtown. But it was really A.J. Newell and his dribble penetration that set the tone for the offense, particularly in that first quarter for Moray and Christian. All right, third quarter action now. Starting out with the basketball is Northgate. Trailing there by five, here's one put up, and that is an air ball to start the second half, and a rebound to Logan Lyle. Lyle with it, over to Keith. Now here's Tyler, wheeling around a Keith pick. Here's Braden penetrates, kicks it out, Logan Lyle in the corner, off the rim and no good. He hit his first two, but has missed his next two from downtown. So here come the Broncos the other way. Again, looking to cut into that five-point deficit. There's that 2-3 zone again for Beret and Christian that served them so well, particularly in that first quarter. Here's one underneath, but blocked away by Cave. Taken by Braden, out into the open floor, and nearly knocked away, gets it back and scores. Braden with the nice recovery. It's a pretty good transition defense by Northgate as they almost had the ball stolen, but Braden able to recollect and score. Here's a shot from the corner, off the rim and no good on a heartbreaker. That time from Joe Pelletier. That one looked like it was going down. Tyler kicks it out. Braden again. Here's Charette. Works against Crothwaite. Goes to the left hand. Fadeaway jumper off the rim and no good. And the rebound taken by Matt DeGarmo. And Matt became a starter just a couple of games ago, replacing Ethan Walchuk in that uh, starting lineup, and primarily because he's a better defender. Here's a shot taken from outside, another air ball. Boy, that one launched by Connor G. A couple of air balls here to start the second half for the Broncos. There's one put up and scored. Logan Lyle, that time able to penetrate on the baseline. He's got eight. Here's one shot, and that is no good, but a foul is called to so Connor G will go to the free throw line, and let's see who they got the foul on. Looks like they got it on number four, Tyler Charette. So that'll be the first team foul of the second half. 
And now Connor Jean being greeted by the chance of air ball. Let's fly and knocks it down. Here comes Meyer back into the ball game for BC. Here's Coach Mitchell. Steve Mitchell in his fifth year for Northgate. Also coming into the ball game that time was Evan Farrow, number 12. And Connor knocks down both foul shots and it's 26 to 19. Seven point deficit here for Northgate as the Eagles have led all the way. Here's Braden, goes to his right. Switching defense there, Connor Jean on Charette. Meyer in the corner, there's Logan Lyle, the high man with eight points. Kicked out, Lyle wants another three and off the rim and no good. He's missed his last three. Nice save on the baseline, but right to North game. Nearly stolen and finally collected by the Bronco. Down into the corner it goes. Kick to the outside. Shot, no good. And Pelletier missing from outside. Braden gets it. Ball put up and a foul will be called. And a beautiful pass by Braden going underneath that time to Logan Lyle. And Lyle draws the foul. So good vision by Braden. And there's Carl Jacobs, the head coach. We told you, a whole lot of experience coaching out of the city. Coached Lincoln and also coached at what had been called French American. It was international high school in San Francisco. 25 years there and now in his second year here with BC. And that Lincoln had seven city titles and at international four league titles in the BCL. And um, actually, his team played at Berean Christian. He and his family were moving out here to Concord when he heard about the job. And because he had talked and, and played against Berean Christian, he found out about the opening and since got the job here in Walnut Creek. They go underneath, does the Broncos. The ball nearly stolen. They try to throw it off a of Bronco. Peltier had it, lost it. It's going to be out of bounds. Last touch by Berean Christian, and the Rock belongs to Northgate. All right, 4.45 to go here in the third quarter, a 28 to 19 lead for Berean Christian. And Berean has gone with that 2-3 zone the entire way, and certainly no reason to change, even though that the Broncos did find some success, scoring 16 points in that second quarter. Shot clock down to one, and they won't get it off, and it's gonna be a shot clock violation, and really unfortunate that time for Beret and Christian because they had taken the ball and were on their way to a fast break. But really, the violation actually helped Northgate that time. And that time, the Broncos, they didn't know how, many, how much time was on the shot clock. So not a heads up play that time for Northgate. All right, A.J. Newell is gonna key it in from the side and instead we'll have a timeout. 4.26 to go. And it's the Eagles still leading the Broncos, 28 to 19. TV comes home. Check out Walnut Creek, Walnut Creek TV at www.walnutcreektv.org. You can see us on YouTube. Check us out on Facebook as well as Twitter. Comcast Channel 28, Channel 26 in Rossmore, a Sound Channel 29, and on AT&T Uverse Channel 99. TV comes home, Walnut Creek TV. So if you like what you see, give us a call. Let us know what you think about the presentation. We'd like to bring you more sports here from Walnut Creek. All right, Brian Christian with that 28 to 19 lead. There's a five point lead at the end of the first half. And that lead's been expanded upon by, by the uh, Eagles. And you see the sixth man there for Northgate and the Bronco crowd coming out in force here tonight, coming across town to check this one out and cheer on their Broncos. Here's Logan Lyle, Braden down in the corner. Go inside, they do. Meyer's got it, nice post up move. And Meyer off the glass and puts it home. Beautiful play by the big man on the inside, able to seal off the defender get the pass and reel in and score off the glass. Nicely done. 
And now we're going to have a foul. I'm going to have an offensive foul called against Northgate. So Berean Christian will have its side out. The lead now 30 to 19 in favor of the Eagles as they have restored order after seeing the Broncos make a nice run at them to end that uh, first half. Defense, defense, defense. Right now, Northgate has been outscored by six so far, but here's a steal by Crossway. It goes all the way against Logan Lyle. The shot won't go, but he draws the foul. So nice anticipation by Johnny Crossway on that steal, able to cut in front and make the play. Crossway, one of the captains, they actually listed him as a wing player and the, the returning starter, the best defensive player. And Coach Mitchell, Mitchell says he's the best defensive player I've ever coached. And he guards the point guards. He also guards 6'5 and 6'6 type guys. And he's in the top 25 in the state at taking charges. Got very good feet, missed a shot there on that first free throw. But he can score, coming in averaging nearly 15 points a game and had a 30 point game earlier in the year. But in the last couple of outings, he's really slumped shooting the basketball. That's bad news for Northgate because as a team, they've had trouble with the uh, field goal percentage this year. The next shot won't go, he misses them both. And the score remains 30 to 19, an 11 point lead for Borean Christian as they're back on the offensive end. Here's Newell, gets the high screen, now double team, chase to the outside. Braden, skip pass back to Newell. He wants the three off the iron, no good. And finally chased down and corralled by Northgate. Out it comes. Here to cross the way. They go baseline here. Peltier wants the three pointer, he knocks it down. Boy, the Broncos needed that one from Joe Pelletier as he knocks down the tray. Good looking pass that time from Connor Jean, who was going baseline, got it out to the corner, and Pelletier rewarded him with the assist by knocking down the three. From the outside, a shot is an air ball, but an offensive rebound and nearly a putback. Another rebound, and this one is put back by Meyer. Meyer and A.J. Newell combining all those offensive rebounds and they finally get the put back for Meyer. Couple of extra chances that time. And here's a ball loose near midcourt. Picked up by Beret and Christian and going all the way and scoring for BC is number 12, Evan Farrell. And now a 12 point lead. Ball out of bounds and it belongs to Beret and Christian. So everything going the way of the Eagles right now. And a couple of substitutions. Logan Lyle coming back into the ball game for BC, along with number 22, Josh Lopez. Talked about A.J. Newell making all those improvements. And he's really shown that uh, he can score in a lot of different ways. And one of those different ways is rebounds. And he actually come into the ball game, and here's a foul, as Newell is fouled, knocked to the ground. And AJ, actually, you know, not a tall person, certainly not a player that plays a lot on the inside, but he was the team leader in offensive rebounds coming into tonight's play. And he's a guy who does a lot of things for these Eagles. And earlier he was breaking down the defense very nicely, and they've kind of put a stop to that a little bit, but have not been able to stop the Eagles. Here's Connor Jean going against the double team off the glass and home. Connor Jean with the steal and the score and a foul and a chance now for a Broncos three point play. So Connor Jean's basket makes it a 10 point Eagles lead and he's got a chance to cut into that even further here with a foul shot. And he knocks it down, and that is a Broncos three-point play, and that cuts the lead to nine. 34-25 in favor of Beret and Christian. Now here's some full court pressure, or at least some token pressure here provided by Aliar in the backcourt. Here's Chartel going in, lays it off for Meyer who scores. Beautifully done on the penetration. You saw Crossway hit the floor, but no foul call. 
and Tyler Charette with a nice play there. And then right back comes Connor Jean, and he knocks down the three. So things heating up here in this third quarter. Kick to the outside, Logan Lyle. Nice closeout defensively by Northgate. Here's a shot, and A.J. Newell from downtown. He knocks down the three ball. Here's Connor Jean. Puts it up, draws the foul, and scores, and they're going to give him the continuation and another chance for a three-point play here for Northgate. So Connor Jean cuts the lead to 39-30 to and a chance to cut it to eight here with another three-point play. Let's take a look at that replay. The three ball, that was the other way. And then Connor Jean came back with a shot of his own and now a chance for a three-point play off the rim and no good. But he gets the ball back and scores. He took it away from number 22, Josh Lopez, who had it, couldn't handle it. And Connor Jean gets another basket and after being dominated so far, it's just a seven-point game. Here's Logan Lyle, spin, kicks it out. Lyle again, baseline shot, off the rim, no good. Taken by the Broncos, crossed way. They go down into the corner, coming back out on top here, and here's Connor Jean to slow it down. Shot clock turned off, 24, now 22, down to 20 seconds to go as the Broncos play for the last shot here in the third quarter. They look like they've been dominated most of the night, and they trail only by seven, a chance to cut closer here with the last shot of this third quarter. Gene looking. He wants the long three-pointer off the rim. No good. Rebound to Newell, and that will do it for the third quarter. So Berean Christian, who has been outstanding here tonight, and they look like they've clearly outplayed the Broncos, but then you look up at the scoreboard and it's only 39 to 32 after three periods. So the Broncos, if nothing else, have shown resiliency and have been able to stay in this ball game. They trailed by a dozen, they trailed by 10 at the, at the half. All right, five at the half, able to cut back into that lead a couple of different times and trail just 39 to 32 with a full quarter to go. So Connor Jean starting to find the range there in that third quarter, starting to get this offense kicked into high gear. Let's take a look at the replay here from that last shot of the third quarter. Here you see Connor is playing for those last seconds, then did launch the, the NBA, the NBA range of three-pointer, just got a piece of the iron and no good. And that's the way the third quarter came to an end. All right, the gentlemen back out of the floor for the final eight minutes of what's been a very wild ball game. And on a couple of different times tonight, it looked like the Broncos were going to get blown out. So many things going right for the Eagles, but when the Eagles got that um, arm's length lead, the uh, Broncos have been able to battle back and keep it close. Here's A.J. Newell. The Broncos have made a nice adjustment and been able to keep him out of the lane ever since that first quarter when he got to the line, got into the lane and then got fouled and shooting several foul shots in that opening period. All right, here are the Eagles. Behind the back, ball is lost, taken away, and now we're gonna have a foul call. And boy, North Cape doesn't like that. Ethan Walcher, I believe, is gonna get called for the foul. He is. And that is a break for BC because it looked like Tyler Charette had the ball stolen. He had a couple of defenders surrounding him. But instead, you get the Bronco foul, and it's inbound on the baseline here. Back to Charette. Charette going up. Off the glass and home. Bodies hitting the floor. Aliar hit the deck. No foul call. Here's a shot taken by Gene. Off the rim. No good. Offensive rebound. Let's see if they can make something out of this. And the ball is going to be out of bounds. Let's see. Now it's going to be a foul call. And that will go against Northgate. So a holding foul. And they're going to call that against the Broncos. And that's number 21, Arash Aliar. 
So the Eagles get the ball back here. With 7.17 to go here in the fourth and final frame. 41-32 in favor of Berea and Christian. Newell watched by Aliar. Goes the other way into the paint. He goes, puts it up and scores. And there's A.J. Newell back into the lane and scoring. And now a chance for an Eagles three-point play. Well, you saw Newell get that screen from Meyer, but he went the other way, going to his right, then the crossover dribble going left, and then got in, and then able to score, and there is the foul, and now a chance for a three-point play, but he did that several times early in the ball game in that first quarter. The Broncos had shut it down since then, but there you see Newell get back into the paint, draw another foul, and he's made several trips to the free throw line here tonight. Now he's got one shot as the officials sort things out here. And now finally Newell at the line getting set to shoot this free throw. Newell lets fly off the air, no good. And the rebound taken by Northgate. They fight for it and keep it. Here comes Connor Jean behind his back. Let's fly for three off the rim, no good. Ball kicked around, they chased it to the sideline and it's out of bounds. And it belongs to Moran Christian. An open three-pointer that time for Connor Jean, but couldn't stick it. And now we're going to have a whistle. And we're going to get a foul. It looks like a holding foul against Connor Jean. So it'll be side out again here for Moran Christian. So Brian Christian here to key it in from the side. And here come the Eagles back on offense, now leading by 11. Five-point game at halftime, seven-point game after three, and now it's ballooned back to 11 here in the four. Inside ball stolen, knocked away, and finally taken by the Broncos. Let's see, can they cash in offensively here? Still plenty of time to go. I'll go to the, to the side, back here on top. Dump down here to the side. Now they go on the baseline. Double teamed over there, is crossed away, looking for somewhere to pass it, and just has to kick it back out. Seven seconds on the shot clock, six. Ball kicked out, a long three-pointer, and knocked down! A long three-point shot by Matt DeGarmo. Who I said earlier, just a couple of games ago, took over in the starting lineup. And it pays off right there with a three-point shot. Now an offensive foul against Braden. So the offensive foul goes against Braden. And the turnover gives the ball back to the Northgate Broncos. 5.55 to go here in the fourth. And the Broncos trail by eight. They're going to clean up uh, some perspiration there on the floor before we start this game. But DeGarmo hitting a big shot. And Rocco's Restaurante and Pizzeria, best pizza in the East Bay. That's Rocco's Restaurante and Pizzeria. And thanks for tonight's pizza guy. Really appreciate it. And that combination, again, delicious. So Matt DeGarmo... Probably the better offensive player than Ethan Walchuk, the, the guy he replaced in that starting lineup. He usually guards the uh, second best player on the opposition. Very good on-ball defender. And one of the problems they, they talking about that he had coming into the game was his uh, ability to hit the three-pointer. They needed him to improve on that, and he just hit a big one right there. Connor Jean hangs, shoots off the backboard, no good. Ball ripped away by A.J. Newell, and there he is again, grabbing a rebound in a big crowd, and now we're going to have a whistle and a foul. That's going to be a timeout. Oh, it is going to be a foul. It's going to be a timeout on the coach's timeout here. We'll talk it over here on the side. 5.42 to go. And there's the Regal Beagle Eagle. Okay, there he is, looking good. Entertaining the crowd over here, and the cheerleaders, they got the somersaults going. 
very festive atmosphere here on a Friday night in Walnut Creek. And a loud, boisterous gymnasium cheering on the Eagles and the Broncos here in this DDAL showdown. So Matt DeGarmo hitting a big three for Northgate. Following this timeout, the Eagles will have the basketball. And they lead it by eight, 43-35 in favor of Berean Christian. Here's Newell again. Can they keep him out of the paint? Here's Charette. They swing it to the outside. Charette. Has it knocked away, stolen. Connor Jean has it, has it taken back by Braden. Jean gets it back. Did he step out of bounds? Yes, he did, or did he call timeout? He called timeout. That'll be Northgate basketball or will it? Let's see. They are, I believe, going to give him the timeout. They are going to give the timeout to Connor Jean, so he will keep the basketball. You had a steal, and then it was stolen back by Beray and Christian. And then Gene able to wrestle it away from Brayton over on the sideline to keep possession for Northgate. 5.22 to go, an eight point lead here for Beret and Christian. They've led the entire way. There's Rocco's Restaurante and Pizzeria, best pizza in the East Bay. Thanks for the pie tonight, guys. That's Rocco's Restaurante Pizzeria. Okay, after a wild play over there on the far side, it's going to be Northgate basketball. They trail it by eight. Northgate. See if they can make a run here. They've been resilient tonight. They trailed in double figures a couple of different times, but have managed to battle back. Connor Jean gets a high screen from Crossway, puts it down to Crossway, who is fouled. Ball goes flying out of bounds. I don't know that he was trying to shoot that ball. Maybe a pushing foul against Beret and Christian. This will be, I believe, a non-shooting foul. It is. Take a look at the replay. He had it. He was just banged there by Charette. So here's the inbound for Northgate. Connor Jean's got it here on the outside. Down to the side. Crossway on the baseline, spins inside, puts it up, shot won't go, and there's Newell again with the rebound. Boy, Newell does so many things well. Can they keep him out of the paint here? It looks like he wanted to take his man and go to the basket. Charette to Logan Lyle. Logan's had a big game tonight, hitting threes. Here's Newell. Newell from way downtown off the rim, no good. And there's Crossway with an important defensive rebound. 4.30 and counting. Crossway to the outside. Ball tipped and stolen. Knocked away, kick, still loose. They wrestle for it, jump ball is the call. And who's got the possession arrow? And possession arrow awards the basketball to Beret and Christian. Now let's see the that possession arrow says Northgate basketball. So Northgate gets it back here. That looked like it was going to be a fast break that time for Josh Lopez, turned away at the last moment by the Broncos. Good hustle by that Broncos defense. Northgate still trailing by eight. Dribbling around, this one fired to the side. A wild pass that time. Down into the corner. There's Crossweight again. There's a shot put up off the back iron, no good. Hitting the floor, that time was Connor G, no foul called. Kick to the outside, here's Newell wants a three and he knocks it down. A.J. Newell, who I would say is probably our player of the game, knocks down a huge three, it's 11 points. Here's a steal, coming out here to Tyler who lays him off the glass and he blows the bunny. Charette could not hit the bunny. Crowd was ready to explode, here's a shot put up, knocked down. Three ball that time from Connor Jean. And right back come the Broncos. Timeout on the floor. 3.21 to go. A 46-38 game. Well, let's take another look. A.J. Newell hitting the big three from that corner. 
And he has been a star tonight for Berean Christian as we take a look at the Northgate fans and then a wild sequence following that three. Boy, a steal for Berean Christian. And Tyler Charette looked like he had an easy bunny, couldn't get it to go, and back the other way, Connor Jean knocked down a three. So every time Beret and Christian looks like they're ready to run away and hide, Northgate pulls them right back down to earth. There's Craig Lee, the athletic director here at Beret and Christian, helping us get things set up and make sure that we are comfortable. And one of these places where you're doing the game and you are literally engulfed in humanity. Fans all around me here. And this is a hot ticket here tonight for Berean Christian basketball here on a Friday night in Walnut Creek. So a wild ball game here tonight. Northgate will not go away. The Broncos lost their last ball game. Remember, Berean Christian's on a five game winning streak. And now the inbound here and the Eagles have the ball back. Here comes Newell, goes to his left, into the paint, hangs, fires off the rim, no good. Ball knocked away by Braden, taken by Newell and back out to Braden. Way to go for Braden. Excellent hustle, knocked the ball away, but now we're gonna have a offensive foul and it looked like a moving screen, I believe. Too much body, a push off by Moray and Christian, so they turn the ball over here with 3.04 to go. All right, here's Northgate swinging it around. Looking to cut into this lead. Back to the outside. Gene's going to take it. Oh, and it just did rim out. Connor Gene from way downtown couldn't get the shot to go. Here comes Charette to his left. And an offensive foul as Charette kind of put out his right arm that time to knock Connor Gene away. The official all over it says offensive foul. All right, Northgate with the basketball. Still trailing by eight. To the outside. Baseline, give and go. Crossway off the glass and home. And the pass from Connor Jean. So crossway the basket, Jean the assist. And it's a six point game here with still 2.10 to go. On top with the Eagles. Here's Braden, gets a screen from Meyer, picked up by Pelletier. Here's A.J. Newell, spin, draws the foul, hangs, shot won't go, but back to the free throw line for A.J. Newell. Boy, he has been there a lot tonight. Take a look at the replay here. After the pass, Crossway able to score, getting that baseline pass from Connor Jean. So Berean Christian won four in a row to start the season from December the 3rd to the 9th. On uh, December the 10th, they lost to Pinewood. Then they won a pair before dropping a pair to Piedmont and Turlock. Then lost another pair before embarking on their current five game winning streak starting on January the 3rd with a win here against Clayton Valley. There's a shot and knocks it down. So looking ahead for Beret and Christian on the 20th, they'll be at Concord, on the 24th at College Park, 27th at Clayton Valley, and the next home game, they'll have Ignacio Valley back here on the 31st, second shot is no good, and now we're gonna have a foul. And it looks like this is gonna be a one and one situation as the Eagles are in the penalty. So we're gonna walk the length of the floor and uh, Johnny Crossway will shoot foul shots. So one of two on one end for Newell, and now Crossway with the one and one coming here the other way. A seven point game now, 47 to 40, in favor of Beret and Christian. Crossway to the free throw line. He's got to get the first if he's going to get the second. 
First one, no good. Tyler Charette with the rebound there and a nice box out to take that rebound. Three possession game right now. You'd figure that BC would be patient here on the offensive end. Nearly lost the ball. Ball still loose, kicked around. Finally picked up by Logan Lyle who tries to pass it out and does. Finally gets it out to Tyler and out to Braden. 13-12 on the shot clock. Here's Braden going right, looking for room. Gives it to Newell. Now we're going to have a pushing foul. And it's going to be against Northgate. They're going to call Connor Jean with a foul against Brayton. And also into the penalty now is Northgate. So Brayton will go to the free throw line to shoot one and one. Again, he's got to make the first to get the second. So here's Jason Brayton, the 5'8", 160-pound sophomore guard. A couple of big shots here. It would be a real break here for Northgate if he'd miss this to keep it at a seven-point deficit. Already a three-possession game. Braden's shot knocks it down. Ice water in his veins. That makes it eight. You know, if you can score this one, it would still be a three-possession game, albeit it would need a three three-pointers to tie. And that is the situation. A nine-point lead here for Moran Christian. So well, here's BC now with a minute 24 to go. You figure if the Eagles are patient, you don't know how many more times Northgate's gonna get the ball back. Do they start shooting threes or do they take the two? Let's see. Crossway going in for two, has it blocked and taken away by Charette. Outlet pass to Brayton, racing down to the other end, has it knocked away. Taken by Northgate, here's Connor Jean, he wants a three. Off the rim, no good. Ball tipped around. Still loose. Finally picked up by Northgate. Boy, A.J. Newell reached up over a much bigger man to get a piece. Shot goes. That won't be good. Another chance. Another one flies. Off the rim and no good. Another offensive rebound for Northgate as they get another possession. Gene, off the rim and no good. And they just can't buy one from downtown. Another sequence where they had so many offensive rebounds and couldn't put it down. And now we've got a foul here at midcourt. Tyler Charette fouled by DeGarmo. And listen to these BC fans. So Berean Christian loving things right now. Charette to the free throw line. Tyler going to shoot foul shots here. First one off the rim, no good on the one and one. And an offensive rebound by A.J. Newell. And we told you about his offensive rebounding ability. And on the other end, it looked like it was going to be an easy rebound for Northgate. And Newell was able to jump over a much bigger opponent to tip the ball up and keep it alive. He has got great hops and has really shown uh, a great ability to do a lot of different things well. Timeout on the floor, 27.9 to go. A nine-point lead for Berean Christian, and they are well on their way to winning their sixth straight ball game. There are those standings in the Diablo Valley League. Berean looks like they're going to run their record to 4-0 and 13-5. and Northgate... Looks like they're going to drop to one and two and nine and eight overall. This will be the second straight loss for the Broncos. And for Northgate, two and four at home this year, four and one away. It looks like they're going to drop now to four and two. They won five of their first six games to start the year, including a one point win over Castro Valley, a 21 point win over Hayward, and a 19 point win over Aragon of San Mateo. Then they drop the pair at home against San Lorenzo and San Ramon. And then they bounce back to beat uh, the crosstown rival Los Lomas Knights. And since then they sort of traded wins and losses. And coming up next, they'll have Ignacio Valley on the 17th, College Park on the 20th, and then on the 24th, they'll take on the Eagles of Clayton Valley High School. Shot put up and it is good. 
A.J. Newell. He has got to be the player of the game. We'll check the final. Uh, we'll check the final stats for A.J. Newell here at the end of the ball game, and I'm sure we'll be getting him for the uh, the interview at the end. I've got to say he is the player of the game here tonight. Shot put up, and that is way off the mark. No good. And an for Beret and Christian, and listen to this crowd. Matt, a final word, and then we're going to break. So, a final score. The Berean Christian Eagles defeat the Northgate Broncos by a final of 53-40. to A.J. Newell, the star of the show, come on back. We'll have Newell here with an interview following this commercial break. Northern California's largest community arts program is here in Walnut Creek. We have over 180 professionals teaching music, dance, drama, and visual arts. With over 680 classes, workshops, and events. There are classes for youth, teens, and adults. With opportunities for beginners through professionals. Find your spark. Learn, inspire, grow. All right, I'm here with the Walnut Creek TV's player of the game, A.J. Newell, 22 points tonight. A.J., congratulations on the game, and right. tell us about your outing here tonight. Um, you know, it was, you know, it was a team effort, you know. Uh, we've been prepared for this game all week, and, you know, it's good to get Northgate back. You guys are having a great season this year. Last year was just 13 and 13. What is the difference between last year and this year? You guys are playing so much better. Um, we use that as motivation. You know, we didn't want to come up playing like that. You know, it was our first year with a new coach. You know, we're kind of used to it. So you know, we didn't use that season as, you know, motivation. We want to have another season like that again. Yeah, I got a chance to talk to your head man earlier in the week, and he was telling me all the different things that you did. The rebounding particularly was wonderful tonight. Obviously, the scoring with 22 points, hitting a couple of threes, but the rebounding seems awesome for a guy who's, well, my height, and I can't get any rebounds. Tell me about your ability to go in there against bigger people and grab rebounds. Uh, I don't know. It's just, I see the ball, and, you know, I want it, so I get it. See the ball and go get it. He go, went and got it tonight. 22 points for A.J. Newell. Did it in a variety of different ways. Ray and Christian gets the win. A.J., congratulations. Right, AJ Newell is our Walnut Creek TV player of the game, and we'll see you next time right here on Walnut Creek Health. Perret going all the way. It's foul going the hole. And I think by crossway. Baseline move. Off the glass and score. Oh, really, the fans have really got the play here tonight. Here's a shot from way downtown. What a play by Johnny. The other end. Off the glass. And it turns it so well. Look at that first. This one underneath, but blocked away by half for the Bronco. Put up and score. Over inside. And two. Myers got it. Nice post up. Little baseline. LK wants to play it back to put back. Another rebound. And this one is not Here's Connor G going against the double. Cartel going in. Leaves it off. Close out the three. 